Hey Leo, welcome back you guys. I hope y'all are blessed and well. Let's see what's going on with y'all beautiful, beautiful people. Let's see what the overall energy is for you, Leo. Someone rising in the North Node. Leo, someone rising in the North Node. What is here for Leo? Someone rising in the North Node. Leo, someone rising North Node. Yeah, the Merlin. Guidance, mentorship, teacher of the old ways. We're guiding a lot of people here, okay? And also too, you're going to meet your guide. Like, literally, you're going to meet, you're going to physically see your guide. So, mourning for something sacred which seems lost. That's in the reverse, okay? It's something here about some kind of beauty magic that has backfired. Somebody has to let go of this petty competition that they've been in with you for several years, it seems like. This also seems like somebody's mother is extremely jealous of them and their accomplishments. Oh, Lord. Let's not pick up on that. Seem like it's this dang on masculine's mama. Like, this could be your man or something. His mama don't really like you. Confirmation. This this woman does not like you for real. It's something about you that this person feels like they don't have. And they feel like you're very brave, very courageous. You're outspoken. Why wouldn't they want their son to be with someone like that? Why wouldn't they want their son to be with a woman that is about her business? Yeah, so sacral chakra. It's something here about you being extremely sexy. That queen of wands energy. Like, all is not lost. I don't feel like nothing is missing or broken here. My dad is really taking up for you in a situation. Like, God is putting you on a pedestal. I feel like you've already been on a pedestal, though. Maybe that's what somebody was angry about. Shadow in the reverse. You're not nobody's shadow. You're not going to... I'm hearing that song, Spotlight, by Jennifer uh, Hudson. The waiting game reverse and trapped in fear reverse. Like, you're not going to be in nobody's. Like, I don't know. what the, It's like somebody wants you to just sit down and shut up or something like that. Somebody is missing a major piece to something. That you're the actual boss. Only you run your life. You can partner with whoever you want to. Financial material changes in reverse. 222. Like, somebody tries to cause some kind of loss with your money. It's not working. Memories of love. This is somebody from your past. This is like the lover's card here, okay? Gemini energy. Somebody could be born in June, June 4th or something like that. Firm foundation reverse. Leo, what in the heck is this? Somebody in this energy is trying to, it's, it's like they're trying to make you understand that they run something and they don't. You're just transforming. You're not suffering either. Okay, you're in a spiritual union. You're with who you're supposed to be with. <laughs> like, with the world. Or if you're single, you're supposed to be single. You're not supposed to be with this person. Or anyone with this kind of energy that's trying to literally run over you. But they don't have any spiritual strength whatsoever. This is weird. Leo, what in the world is going on with y'all? But you have a leg up nonetheless. What I said. Round and round. So this is somebody who feel like they're going to just keep going back and forth, up and down, whatever the case is. My dad said, no, something is going to be done by the book. I feel like somebody is even trying to think of a way to insert themselves is what I heard into your life. 333. You already know this. You already know that something is going to be balancing your favor because that's what you're deserving of and nothing less than that. Breathe. I feel like you can breathe easy, whoever you are. It's, it's something here about you not wanting anything to do with drama. Like, you don't want no drama in your life whatsoever. And anybody that brings drama to you, you cut them off immediately. And I feel like you got the right to do it. Chop wood. I can't make it up. Like, your discernment is on a thousand, whoever you are. And it's like you're not sitting around crying. You're not sitting around in regret, wondering why this and why that. You're just looking at things like it is what it is. To be fair, never any story. So this is somebody who is constantly watching you. They're competing with everything you're doing because you're a divine feminine or a masculine. They're trying to exchange gifts with you. Spirit said, that's the truth of the rule. This person is not exchanging gifts with you. This person has run out of time. TikTok in the reverse. Four, three, two. So some about countdowns. You could be a choreographer or your child could take dance or something like that. That's crazy, bro. Hey, Capricorn. Oh, Lord.
Somebody in this energy is just not understanding, man. I don't, I don't know. It's like somebody is trying to make your life very hard. Sorry about that. Somebody is trying to make your life extremely hard when it doesn't have to be at all. Imagine. Your life is not supposed to be hard. Whoever you are, you have a lot of ideas too. I feel like whatever these ideas is, like just make sure that you go through with something. Like if you're being guided to create something, make sure you do it. You got the funds to do something here. You got the bread to do it. Queen. And if you don't, you will. Round and round. Anytime you get some kind of download from my dad, he shortly after provides you with the income, some kind of way. Anything you think of, if it's an idea that needs to be done, anything that needs to be done, a move that needs to be made, God will make sure that you have everything you need to do it. Excuse me. I feel like you're a thinker and a doer. This could be some kind of community service as well. Somebody needs to do community service. Okay. They need to be worrying about their community service instead of stalking you. Somebody in this energy is mad because you service your community as well. They can't bend your free will. It's an unfinished symphony with this person. Like, who is this? This person does not like you, Capricorn. This person does not like you at all. And I feel like you don't give a damn if they like you. Your mother, this person's mother, somebody's mama, or this karmic, whoever. I don't know. This also could even be somebody that you called a friend at some point. Time for a nap. And then soulmates here. You could be seeing gnats, flies, roaches, or something. And you don't have bugs or anything like that. It's weird. Somebody's sending this to you. All that glitters fell in the reverse on the floor. God, bro. It's just like y'all. It's like y'all people are not. You're not doing anything. That's what I'm saying. Like you're not bothering nobody. And I don't care, bro. I don't care. It, it's no excuse for this. Leo, what the hell, bro? It is literally no excuse for somebody to be doing all of this to nobody. It's no excuse. Like you get no excuse for this. You don't get a pass for this shit right here. You just don't. I'm not going to make this reading long at all, bro. Hell no. No, bro. No. Somebody feels like they've got some kind of victory over you by doing some kind of not magic ace of wands, but you're steadily coming up stronger than ever, and this person is weak. It's like they want your strength or something, and they don't have it. They keep working together with other people, and they're going to see. They're going to fuck around and find out. What's here for Leo? I'm getting like single white female kind of energy, like that obsessed energy. Like somebody's really trying to take on your life. They want your husband, your wife, your job, your kids, like whatever. Look, the Ten of Cups, they want all of these, the things that are yours. They want it for themselves. They don't have it. And not like they want a marriage. They want some kids. They want a job like yours. No, they want your job, your man, your wife, your kids. Like they want things that are yours that literally belongs to you. Like, for real, Empress energy. You're sitting over here in the Empress energy, Emperor. Somebody was lying as well about your parenting or something, bro. Somebody is trying to make you carry heavy burdens when your load is not heavy at all. You're in the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. You're self-sufficient, single. Like, this. what I'm saying as far as the Nine of Pentacles, you are not single per se, like you're with someone, but I'm saying like if you were alone, you would be just fine with or without anyone. That's what I'm saying. You're independent. You stand by yourself. Somebody just got a tax advance or something, Six of Pentacles. Somebody is getting caught up, okay? The fool, Aries energy. Somebody is going to have to pay for something. They're going to have to stand on whatever this is. They got to answer for it. The Four of Swords. It's something here about church as well. You could be finding a new church home. Or you recently did, or you're uncovering something about a, a corrupt church, an organization. The lovers. Yeah, the seven of swords of verse. You could be dealing with a Gemini for sure. You could be having pain in your knees and your legs, arms, shoulders, neck, something like that. Somebody is doing work on you constantly. Hermit energy in the reverse with the nine of cups. Go watch that Virgo reading, three of swords. I feel like this is your ex competing with you. I feel like it's some bitches right here too, fam. Man, I some niggas right here, but this is like an ex that's the opposite sex. Like, this is your ex. Or your mom or something. Yeah, the empress. Baby mama, baby daddy. I don't know what this is, but it's like somebody does not want you to move forward in life. It's weird as hell. This is weird. God, this is weird. And this Leo and this goddamn Aquarius. So whether you're Leo or not, you have a Leo and an Aquarius that's attacking the fuck out of you. Like, these people want to be you. This person is attacking all of your houses. Like, every house that you have, they're attacking it. Period. Your whole foundation. 
Seven of Cups arose. You already see what's up right here. See? Somebody, okay, yeah. Go watch that Virgo reading. You can have Virgo in your chart heavily. Somebody does not like that your job is easy or something. Ten of Wands reverse, Six of Swords reverse. You don't go towards drama. You don't go towards all this baggage or whatever. You cut it in the office. Like, you don't want nothing to do with it. Judgment in the reverse. Somebody don't want to face their judgment either. There is the Five of Pentacles. This person's judgment is to be broke and they know it. So they're trying to avoid judgment day. I mean, trying to avoid judgment day does not mean you're not going to be judged. You're just trying to avoid it. <laughs> like, what the heck? The magician. They do a lot of spell work. This devil energy is trying to do spell work on the fucking time. Literally. Justice reverse. They're trying to do spell work on time. On the time. Wow. Knight of Cups in the reverse. I heard buffoon. This person is a buffoon. Aquarius energy with the Wheel of Fortune. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. They don't have a way to do something. Whoever you are, bro, you are stepping into a, a very abundant season, Leo. And you got people from your past that are trying to reattach themselves to you. I'm telling you, they hold it on for dear fucking life. Because you ended something here and you went into a twin flame connection. You are already with your person. Somebody is holding on to your ass for dear life, bro. They are not willing to let you go. And it's like they're overindulging in addictions. Like this person overdoes everything. Everything they do, they overdo it. What I said. You dig a real scam? Everything they do, they overdo the shit. They do too damn much. Somebody finna really see that they fuck with the wrong person. It's like somebody tried to weaken you, right? And then they didn't know that the whole time you were pacing yourself. You dig a real scam? You know how you see a race, right? And you see people, they be sprinting, running so fast, thinking that that's gonna make them win the race. But you got that one person that's been looking at they watch. They just pacing themselves. And then that last lap, which is the one that counts, pew, they speed right past everybody because they have built up endurance. And this person knows their speed. They know their strength. You know yourself. That's why these people are unable to defeat you. What I said, child. They're unable to defeat you. That's why. Because you know your strength. And to hell with anybody who's sitting up here trying to block you from that. It's weird. So somebody in this energy trying to break you down to nothing. They're trying to break your shit down, talking shit. Maybe even talking shit about you to distract you because they're mad. What I said, child. Somebody named Timothy. See? They they trying to break you down. They don't even understand that you're pacing yourself. Somebody think that they got you beat or they're ahead of you or they're stronger than you because you're either not retaliated or something. They just, this person got you fucked up. Love on the brain reverse and then reflect in reverse. You're not thinking of this person. This person is doing things out of anger. They're trying to steal from you because they're angry. Anytime you do things out of anger, it backfires, sweetheart. Like you can only manifest a negative situation with anger, like for real. And they're sitting back watching everything you're doing. This is like the page of swords. They're stalking you. Like this person wants some kind of information to destroy you. They're not getting it. Like I felt mourning for something sacred was seems lost. You didn't lose anything, 1355, and you're not going to. I feel like your ass turning the fuck up this weekend, and you should. However that is. However it is. These are a bunch of clout-hungry motherfuckers right here, wasting their time. Queen. Wasting their time trying to steal, but you're protected. Like, come on, you're protected from theft. You have security alarms and everything. Somebody want to come and vent to you. They act like they talking to you, but they truly been talking about you. Somebody could even be trying to come vent to you, acting like they're sharing personal information with you so that you can, like, I share a story, you share a story kind of energy. You're not going to share your business with this person. I feel like you're like, um, uh, you're just going to, you know, you're keeping a promise to your person. And somebody is brainstorming to see how they can ruin this connection. So this seems like your, um, your ex or something that's attacking you and your masculine because they're falling apart. Or they're attacking you and your feminine divine masculine, whomever you are. Y'all some sexy motherfuckers in here. Bad reputation in the reverse. They tried to ruin your reputation, so now they're falling apart. And I feel like this person's life is falling apart because they tried to ruin your reputation. They're getting karma. Okay? They're getting their karma. Yeah. Lying, talking about you promiscuous, but it's truly them. This person uh, caught some kind of disease or something, too, and they mad at you. Yeah, trying to force their way into your energy. It's weird. And it's like they won't back the fuck down, but the games are over. 
whoever you are, you're you're definitely in this energy of setting the record straight. Like you you don't got nothing to say to this person. You could be going to the movies or something this weekend. Whoever you are, you're just enjoying life as you should. This person right here wanted to control you. They wanted things to go their way. Nothing ever goes their way. And it's not ever going to because of the shit that they're doing. Like, look at what the fuck you're doing, bro. How do you expect something positive to come out of that? You having bad-ass luck because you keep doing fucked up shit to people. You don't have any windfalls or money or nothing. Like, for real. This person was trying to rely on some kind of unexpected money, but they got denied. They were trying to have you denied from your family or friends from applications, whatever the case is. Yep. Some kind of paperwork that you filled out or something. Like somebody wants everything in your life to be denied. But you're getting justice instead. This is crazy. It's just complete control because they can't control anything. What I see here. And this is cowardice. It's being done in the background. Leo. Someone rise in North Nova. Yeah, this person needs to grow up, but they're never going to. And this person is very unhealthy. Their health is declining. This person, they need to be worrying about eating better or, or something like that. They need counseling. Or this is you, Leo. Somebody in this energy needs counseling for real. Because you're not making this person take any losses. You're uncomfortable. Somebody, your comfort makes somebody uncomfortable. Your comfort brings discord and discomfort to this person's life. And it's like... Are y'all the only people here or something? I feel like it's a lot of things going on. A lot of people doing things here. I mean, why are they so focused to fuck on you? They're mad because you're a person that can be trusted. You're trustworthy. You trust in God. God trusts you. They're mad. Somebody is mad. They're in their emotions. And this person also needs to be cautious spending all of their money. This person went and spent some money on some kind of media outlet to, you know, um, reveal something about you. And now they're paying heavily for it. So if your name was slander online or something, just understand that these people are working together. They got paid for it too. And now they're all paying for it, but they don't have the funds. So they got to pay what? In blood. They're not in their life purpose. They never will be. By the time these hoes and niggas get done paying their karma, they'll never reach their life purpose. They'll be shriveled up. Explore or reverse because they won't go and look for what makes them happy or what they're called to do. They won't put any interest in that they too busy trying to celebrate something that they're not going to celebrate which is your downfall how are you trying to pray for a downfall to someone that's going to the next level and then being recognized that's what i'm saying like everything you're trying to wish on this person is going the complete opposite it's weird they shouldn't be so focused on you like this they like, shouldn't be focused on you at all but not this damn focus like somebody's very focused on you leo and they're definitely copying something you're doing or trying to. And they mad because they cannot emulate this. Whatever this is you're doing, it's so creative that they cannot emulate this shit. Yeah, it's an immediate death when they try to do this. It's immediately going to die. And they won't gain anything off of it. Trying to steal your intellectual property or do something exactly like you or whatever this is. Excuse me. I'm hearing that song Privacy by Chris Brown. Like, I feel like you just want your privacy. You want to live in your bliss privately. Like, your relationship, you want to keep it private. It's like somebody's trying to force you to, um, you know, show your person or show what y'all be doing or something. You don't have to do any of that. Nightmare, you're blessed. You're not locked in, caged into nobody. These people are just bound to their own commitments. And now they're furious because they can't kill you. Come on, bro. Now they're homeless and shit because of these collaborations. You mean to tell me it's three bitches that collaborated for somebody to be homeless and now it's you three bitches homeless and none of you bitches can get a home? That's what I'm saying. Y'all collaborating, working together, but when shit hit the fan, you see why you're on the side you're on, bitch. You can't produce anything. You don't have any type of motivation to do nothing. Get up off your ass, bitch. That's what I'm saying. These people are not coaching nobody anything. They want to be the leader, but they're not. They're a follower. They're sheep, but they're wolves. They should be following an example, which is you, but they're not. They don't apply positive things to their life. These are the kind of people that take information that is supposed to be given in a fundamental way. And they will use that information to make someone lose their life or lose something. Somebody is mad because you married your best friend or something like that. And they wanted to be some kind of third wheel 
they this person wants your fucking life it's weird i'm really getting um that single white female obsessed energy like i feel they trying to make you take a loss you're not taking one Bitch, take a number and take a seat, bitch. That's what I'm saying. In fact, the office is closed today, ho. Until further notice, bitch. Don't nobody want to hear this at all. These women is some losers. And they vow to make you take a loss. But it's backfiring. It's them. I mean, they made a promise to something. But that something doesn't give a fuck who takes the loss. Because it's definitely them, not you. Somebody, they would be so happy if you would just go away. I feel like you would be happy if they would just go away. The fuck? They doing money magic, but all you do is save money. Somebody thinks you're just out here spending, spending money, and no, you're not. You got way more saved up or something. Somebody really needs to mind their business. This death card again in the reverse, and they thought that they were going to strategize your death. Child, bye. These people do not have an alliance with my dad at all. They don't know my dad at all. So you and your person could have just purchased a new home. They were trying to manifest the accident. Are you serious? They were trying to make you get into a fucking accident. Come on, man, Leo. Yeah, collaboration. They work with other people. Told you, curse reversed. You got a bunch of sour ass bitches, some sour punch straws trying to curse a divine feminine or a masculine. Yeah, okay. You are never alone, whoever you are. Somebody thought they was gonna run you crazy with all of this stalking. Bad, bad, bad idea. Bad idea. They came for you. That was not the thing to do. Schedule. They were doing something on the schedule as well. Like, these women are very calculated, but it's like, they're, this shit ain't adding up or something. They're very calculated, though. But it's not equating to anything. It doesn't equal anything at all they never these are women that never gets what they want anything they get even if they spend money on something they put their all into something they always get the opposite of what they want it's like a bitch could literally go on amazon and order something specifically and they'll still send this bitch the wrong order they this bitch could go to a pizza place and put one topping on a pizza and they'll still get a, a pizza with seven toppings on it nothing ever goes this person way period and it never will they're surrounded by bad luck. And they mad at you. But my thing is, why don't you ask the question, why is all this stuff happening to you? You, you never want to ask yourself why this shit is happening. You just look at everybody else who you feel and ain't happening to and try to cause things that happen to them. Bitch, bye. Opportunity and change, honesty and communication. Whoever you are, there's an opportunity to change something with the truth. But you have a guardian angel here. All somebody do has to simply be truthful about something. And I feel like this is being truthful to themselves, being honorable to yourself. Like, seriously, bro, how long do you think this shit like this is going to go on? You're not this person. You never will be them, bitch. Just get a life. I'm going to leave it here. Remember that God loves you and so do I. Bye, guys.